Ready. Hi, this is Barbara Adams. I am reading October 3, 2020, Acts 7, 44 through 53. Our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness as God directed when he spoke to Moses, ordering him to make it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors in turn brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands. As the prophet says, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, and now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that receive the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. Here are reflection questions. What connections do you see to the overarching theme of taking the gospel message to the ends of the earth? What similarities did you hear between the first century church and the American church today? How might we be putting too much emphasis on our holy buildings and institutions while neglecting what God is doing outside our man-made structures?